Is your Windows PC not booting when GPU is plugged in? Then you are at the right place as here is how to fix the issue. Let's get started. This is the Windows Club. Some users reported that their Windows 11 or 10 computer won't start when they connect an external GPU. There can be many causes of this issue such as an insufficient power supply to the GPU, a faulty GPU, a faulty GPU slot, etc. If your PC won't boot when the GPU is plugged in, this video should help you. Method 1. Compatibility Issues If your GPU is not compatible with your motherboard, you will experience boot issues. If you have purchased the new GPU, check its compatibility with your motherboard. Probably you have ordered the incorrect GPU. If the GPU is compatible, use other fixes. Method 2. Reseat the GPU Probably you have not seated the GPU properly. Reset it carefully and see if your computer starts this time. Also, verify that you are installing the GPU in the correct PCIe slot. If your motherboard has more than one PCIe slot, you can try installing the GPU in other available slots. If the problem has started occurring after installing a new PSU, you might be using the wrong cables. Use the same cables that come with the PSU. Method 3. Check the LED indication on your motherboard and GPU. Every motherboard has LED indicators for different hardware problems. These LEDs turn on when your motherboard detects a hardware or boot issue. A specific LED indicator turns on to indicate the problem with the respective hardware. For example, ASUS motherboards have their LED indicators CPU, DRAM, VGA and boot. If the VGA indicators turn on, it means that there is an issue with the graphics card. Check if any LED lights turn on with your motherboard. If yes, troubleshoot it accordingly. Refer to your motherboard's user manual for more information on LED indicators. Also check if the LED on your dedicated graphics card turns on. A red light on the GPU indicates that the GPU is not getting enough power. In such a case, you need to replace your PSU. Method 4. Clear CMOS If the issue persists, clear CMOS. To do that, open your computer case and locate the CMOS battery. Remove the battery from its slot and wait for a few minutes. Reinsert the battery into the slot with the polarity. Now check if you can turn on your PC. Method 5. Change the PCIe EX16 slot configuration in BIOS. The PCIe slot configuration setting in BIOS allows you to change the PCIe generation. By default, it is set to Auto. You can change this from Auto to a specific PCIe generation in certain cases. For example, if you have a newer motherboard with the latest generation PCIe slots but are using an older graphics card or an older PCIe riser cable, you can manually set the PCIe version to an earlier generation such as PCIe X16 Gen 3 for improved compatibility. Different motherboards have different settings to change this option. Refer to your motherboard user manual for the steps to change the setting. In most cases, setting it to Gen 3 resolves the issue. If you cannot boot into BIOS, remove your graphics card, then start your computer with the integrated GPU. Method 6. Update BIOS If the problem persists, update the BIOS to the latest version. Updating the BIOS will improve the system stability and hardware compatibility. Disconnect the dedicated GPU and boot your system with the integrated graphics. Now visit the official website of your computer manufacturer and download the most recent version of your system BIOS. Run the file to update your BIOS. Method 7. Test the GPU on another working computer. If you still cannot boot your computer by plugging in the dedicated GPU, the problem may be with the dedicated graphics card on your PSU. To confirm this, connect your GPU to another working computer that the GPU is compatible with. If the computer boots, your GPU is not faulty. The problem may also be with the power supply unit. The PSU might not be able to provide the required power to the GPU. At this point, you need professional assistance. So that's it. Subscribe to the Windows Club for all your tech solutions related to Windows. Thanks for watching.